Okay, welcome to our lesson covering types of judicial precedent. Before we commence our lesson, come day remember to hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss out any of my future content. One of the different type of the judicial president is declaratory president. It is where the judge apply an existing principle without extending it, hence declaring the law and the judgment, therefore forming the base of the declaratory precedent. So this is where the judge apply a certain case law in determining a certain case without extending it or elaborating it. Original precedent, it is where the court it is where the court judgment does not apply any existing precedent or previous court decision, which the court can rely on deciding a particular case, therefore the judge de deciding the case on general principle. So Original precedent is where the judge does not base his judgment using a certain case law. Therefore, he develop a certain general principle in deciding that case. Distinguished precedent, it is where the area precedent cannot be applied fairly to the case at hand. When applied, it can lead to an injustice. Therefore, the judge applies a distinguished precedent where the area precedent also remain to be raw. This is where a judge decides to adopt a distinguished precedent due to the difference of the case at hand and the previous case law. So he may apply some distinguished precedent in order to, differenti to differentiate those cases. For instance, there can be a case involving robbery with violence without murder and other case involve robbery with violence with murder. So if the judge decides to treat robbery with violence with manda and robbery with others with without manda as similar case, it can result to an injustice in deciding the case. Overruling precedent, it is a rule which have been express, expressly deprived of the legal effect that make it cease to have any authority. So in overruling precedent, it is a rule which has is a case rule which have been deprived of Rigo effect that make it cease to have any authority. We also have another type of precedent which is referred to as persuasive precedent. These are decisions which a text court may adopt, but but um, may adopt, but it does not. But it is not compared to follow. For instance, a decision of a subordinate court. Thank you for watching. Kindly remember to hit the subscribe button so that you not miss any of my future content like this. Thank you.